everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going over how to add motion blur in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, as you can see right here, here is basically like the editing breakdown um, to the intro of the video. I basically just shrunk myself like Ant-Man. If you want a full editing breakdown of this entire effect, um, I made a tutorial about a month ago, so you can go ahead and check it, uh, check it out. But let me go ahead and just give you a brief overview of how I did this. I basically, as you can see right here, I obviously had just a still shot of the background, um, basically applied a freeze frame effect onto it. Then I put on top of it um, a clip of me basically like pressing the button. Um, it was just like a iPhone charger. But as soon as I pressed the button, I applied the freeze frame. And then I basically just shrunk myself and then I used the position tool to basically just drop myself. Honestly, a pretty cool effect and I'll explain why motion blur is crucial um, when you're making this type of video. So I'm going to try my best. Um, computer's not the fastest, but I'll try my best to go over the scale. As you can see right here, I just applied a draw mask. Um, watch the scale right here, 100%, 80, 60, 40, 20. And then I keyframe the position, then I basically just drop myself. And that's how you, as you can see, you watch the position up right here. And that's literally how I created this effect. Now, why would you want to add motion blur? As you can see right here, this is what, as you can see, I'm basically like having like motion blur applied to me. Um, the main reason you want to do this is it basically helps sell the effect a lot better, especially when you want something moving um, fast paced. It just helps sell the effect um, a lot better as well as it also helps hide certain like small little issues so maybe the masking wasn't on point i honestly think i did a pretty good job with masking but obviously i'm no professional so it helps kind of fl uh, fix a couple of flaws here and there and overall basically sells the entire video so as you can see right here again computer's not the fastest but basically pay attention it's not like perfectly obvious um but it's definitely gonna be make a difference so let's watch it with with motion blur as you can see it basically created this really cool motion blur and just basically like i said before helps sell the effect right here so boom there we go here's the blur effect um let's go ahead and click on it um, and let's disable the motion blur and let's show you without the motion blur as you can see right here still looks pretty cool but without that motion blur i'm not sure how many times i've said that it just doesn't sell the effect very well it looks cool but the motion blur just honestly makes the clip more believable and it honestly makes it look um a lot nicer so let's enable it um go ahead and play it one more time boom there you go it just helps make it look a little more believable um if I haven't said this before, this is a plugin. So as you can see right here, um, is a title effects plugin. Download link is gonna be in the description below. Um, as you can see here, are all the different options for motion blur. And then I basically just applied it over the portion of the video um, that I wanted the motion blur to be a part of. So basically the part where I just like shrunk myself makes it look a lot more believable, but there you go, that's what motion blur does. A download link is gonna be in the description below. Of course, you have a whole bunch of options. I, I chose for, opted for a moderate motion blur. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Giving away a Google Home Mini once I reach 1,000 subscribers. New Final Cut Pro, 10 tutorials every single day. See you guys on the next one. Peace.